We don't often hear about Chinese manufacturers in the aviation industry, but there's one which is emerging to be a serious competitor against the Boeing 737 MAX and the Airbus A320neo. Firstly, I'd like to give a shout out to Cody Jacobson for suggesting this video. If you want to suggest a video, then use the link below and also join our Discord server. You'll get a shout out for your videos. Anyways, Comac is a state-owned commercial aircraft group which is based in China and they've been working on the C919. It's the state-of-the-art short-haul aircraft which could definitely pose a threat to the 737 and the A320 series. However, it's not been an easy ride for the Chinese manufacturer. After its maiden flight in May 2017, it didn't fly again for a whole two months and the two test aircraft have only made around 25 flights ever since, which is well under the amount made by other commercial aircraft. Now Comac is trying to break into the 1.4 trillion market which circulates around what seems to be a duopoly of Airbus and Boeing. I mean, if Comac does emerge as a major competitor, then there'd be an ABC of aircraft manufacturers. Anyways, the C919, it relies on parts from North America and Europe, and it would compete in the short haul market dominated by the 737 and the A320 aircraft. Now the plane has over 785 orders from various airlines, even though most of these airlines are Chinese. And what's more interesting is that most of these are leasing agencies rather than the carriers themselves. The plane will come in two variants, a standard aircraft with 4,000 kilometers of range and an extended range version with 5,500 kilometers. It can carry up to 168 people compared to the 737 MAX 8 of 210 maximum capacity. Perhaps the aircraft would be a greater threat to the Bombardier C-Series rather than the 737 and the A320 families. However, the C919 is more expensive than those aircraft. The A320neo sold on average of 51% less than list price at $41 million each and the 737 MAX 8 sold at 49% less than list price at $51 million each. Now the C919 on the other hand has an average price of $68 million, yet China National Radio has predicted a list price of $50 million. So the program hasn't even reached its goal yet, and it'll be interesting to see just how this develops. Now captains, leave your thoughts in the comments below regarding the C919 and also consider joining our Discord server. Use the link in the pinned comment to post your suggestions and for every suggestion that you post, you'll get a shout out for your video. Thank you so much for watching my fellow aviators. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.